I'm Severn Susan, speaking for ECHO, the Environmental Children's Organization. We are a group of 12 and 13 year olds from Canada trying to make a difference. Vanessa Sati, Morgan Geisler, Michelle Quigg, and me. We raised all the money ourselves to come 6,000 miles to tell the adults you must change your ways. Coming here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I am here to speak of the countless animals dying across this planet because they have nowhere left to go. We cannot afford to be not hurt. I am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in the ozone. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. I used to go fishing in Vancouver with my dad. Until just a few years ago, we found the fish full of cancers. And now we heard about animals and plants going extinct every day, vanishing forever. In my life, I have jumped to see the great herds of wild animals, jungles and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. But now, I wonder if they will even exist for my children. Did you have to worry about these little things when you were my age? All this is happening before our eyes, and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. I'm only a child. I don't have all the solutions. But I want you to realize, neither do you. You don't know how to face our holes in the ozone layer. You don't know how to bring back salmon up in a dead stream. You don't know how to bring back an animal no extinct. And you can't bring back a forest that once grew, that where is now a desert. If you don't know how to fix it, please, please stop breaking it. Here, you may be delegates of your governments, business people, organizers, reporters, or politicians, but you really are mothers and fathers brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and all of you are somebody's child. Countries will not share with the needy, even when they have more than enough. We are afraid to lose some of our wealth, afraid to share. In Canada, we live the privileged life. We have plenty of food, water, and shelter. We have watches, bicycles, computers, and television sets. Two days ago, here in Brazil, we were shocked when we spent some time with some children living in the streets. And this is what one child told us. I wish I was rich, and if I were, I would give all the street children food, clothes, medicine, shelter, and love and affection. If a child on the streets who has nothing is willing to share, but why are we who has everything but still so greedy? I can't stop thinking these children are my age. It makes a tremendous difference where you are born. That I could be one of those children living in the favelas of Rio. I could be a child starving in Somalia, a victim of war in the Middle East, or a beggar in India. I'm only a child, yet I know if all the money spent on war was for ending poverty and solving environmental answers, what a wonderful place this earth would be. At school, even in kindergarten, you teach us to behave in the world. You teach us not to fight with others, to work things out, to respect others, to not hurt other creatures, to share, not be greedy. Then why do you go out and do the things you tell us not to do? Do not forget why you're attending these conferences. Who you're doing this for? We are your own children. You are deciding what kind of world we will grow up in. Parents should be able to comfort their child by saying, everything's gonna be all right. We're doing the best we can. And it's not the end of the world. But I don't think you'll say that to us anymore. Are we even in your list of priorities? My father always says, you are what you do, 
not what you say. Well, what you do makes me cry at night. You grown up say you love us. I challenge you. Please make your actions reflect on your words. Thank you for listening. Mama, Mama, Mama. <laughs>